Hey air gunners, what's up? It's Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, out here on a beautiful day with a BAM Glock 17. Brand new this year from Umarex. Saw this little piece at SHOT Show this year and I have been so excited to get my hands on one. And now I've got it here and so we're going to check it out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I was really excited this year when I saw at SHOT Show that Umarex had gotten the license from Glock to go ahead and uh, basically make a total replica of some of their some of the Glock lineup. Now, this is uh, Glock 17, very realistic weight and feel. Uh, once, once you've got the magazine in there, especially, it's, you know, it's really got a good weight to it. Uh, full metal slide blowback, uh, last shot, bolt hold open, release, just like on the real thing. It's got nice sights there. It's got, you know, just an open sort of a blade, but it has white on the back and on the front. So it's very easy to find your sight picture with this thing. I mean, it's just, it, it lines up really nice. Um, got the trigger safety switch, just like on the real deal. The grip is really nice. It's got these finger moldings kind of on it. And, uh, you know, it's sort of an ambidextrous uh, thumb spot there. Got it on both sides. It's got the Glock uh, branding here on the grip. Got the Glock branding there inside the slide, on the slide. I mean, just looking at this thing, I mean, you really can't tell that this is not the, the, the full on real deal. You know, you would not know that this is an air gun, um, which is just, it's, it's kind of cool when they can make it that realistic, super cool that Umarex got that license to do this. So today, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna hope that those thunderstorms that passed on don't come back with more of them over the hill and uh, we're gonna put this thing through its paces. I've got my chronograph. We'll get that out first. We're gonna see what it's doing for some crony numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and count all the shots that I get on a fresh CO2, see how many shots we're getting out of it. And uh, we're gonna also go ahead and shoot a little squirrel target out there. I've got it set up at 12 yards so that we can see what sort of accuracy you guys can expect out of this thing. So let me go ahead and grab the crony. We'll get that set up and we'll get this thing rolling. All right guys, so I just finished shooting this over the crony. Did 18 shots there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the mag reloaded. Then we're gonna finish off this CO2 on a little squirrel target I've got set up out here at 15 yards. And we're gonna see just how many shots we get per CO2 in this guy. And we're gonna go ahead and of course test the accuracy in it. So I'm gonna get the camera pointed there at the target and let's start counting. Alright guys, so there you have it, that was four mags on the target, and now see on that last mag, just doesn't quite have enough to do that last shot bolt hold open, so I know I must be running low on CO2, so I'm going to say this is getting somewhere in between 80 and 90 shots per CO2, which is pretty good for a CO2 gun with a blowback action, I've shot a lot of them, and this one definitely is pretty high on that shot count, so let's go ahead take it back to the table talk a little bit more about the gun, wrap this video up for you guys. So all in all guys, with the action there, the magazine loads nicely, the last shot bolt hole open feature, the switchology, the trigger has that little safety on it, but the trigger really is my kind of only complaint about this thing. Um, it's got sort of a long trigger and it 
it's it's not a hard trigger pull, but it's a deliberate trigger pull. Um, you really have to, um, you know, focus a little bit to stay on target all the way through that trigger pull. Um, so I think maybe they could have done a little bit better job on that trigger. Definitely a winner in my book. It's got the metal slide. It's got the grips. Got the Glock branding. Nice open sights. Realistic action. Snappy blowback. Good accuracy. By my count, I got about 90 shots for one CO2, which is, I think, slightly above par for these blowback pistols. Uh, you know, usually I'm getting maybe 60 or 70 shots per CO2, so this is definitely a, a, a CO2 conserver as far as blowback pistols go, and it's just fun to shoot. I mean, like I say, the only complaint I would have is the trigger is just a little bit stiff and a little bit long. Um, you know, I just opened this thing up, and these are like my first shots out of it, so I'm, I, I'm kind of expecting that trigger will break in a little bit as far as its stiffness. It'll probably get a little bit easier because it already has, even over just these first few mags that I've shot, it's smoothed out a little bit and it's gotten a little bit easier, but it's always going to be a little bit long. Um, and that, you know, that can make it maybe difficult for some to stay on target through that full trigger pull. But like you guys can see, I mean, I, I definitely peppered that squirrel target up really nicely. And, uh, I mean, what more can you want than that? That's it for this little video. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner. Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that way you won't miss any more of this cool air gun stuff. And uh, that's it for today. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>